Okay, uh, this is um, some time into the restore and it says restoring iPod firmware and it's very nearly done. We have an almost full bar there. Oh shit, I just pressed the home button, hope it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it says, your iPod will be, has been restored to factory settings and restarting, please leave your iPod connected, it will appear in the iTunes window after it restarts. This message will disappear in zero seconds. <laughs> As you can see, I haven't got much music in my iTunes library, that's my brother's fault, he's deleted the whole thing. Okay, it looks like the iPod is uh, doing something. Don't really know what, but I'll let it do it. There we go. Finger in the way there. Connect to iTunes. And should do this, make a funny noise. Sorry, I had to pause it there, my mum came in from Morrison's. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, it says the usual edit home screen. Everyone knows that you can edit the home screen. Uh, and there we go. Right, now let's go into settings. To just confirm we are on 4.1. Uh, general. Uh, about. And there we go. You can't really see it. But uh, just here where it says version. Oh, God, this camera's rubbish. Uh, it does say, I absolutely swear that says 4.1, just there. Also says it's an MC model. Alright, well thanks for watching my video, you can now uh, restore your iPod. Uh, in, uh, well, just sort from the backup anyway. Thanks for watching my video, you are now jailbroken, well not jailbroken, you are restored to 4.1, where you have Game Center, and uh, fancy things like that, and uh, you can benefit from having being jailbroken, if that's the reason you downgraded and uh, having Game Center, which is fairly good. And uh, I'm going to do a video now on how to... I'll go away. I'm going to do a video now on how to jailbreak 4.1 with this iPod with Green Poison. Thanks for watching.